Here we have the Ziggy HD uh, document camera from iPivo and in fast motion I'm opening it up. It's packed well when it comes. You can see it is foldable and folds up pretty nice. I'm pleased with that and yet um, one concern that I have is if I fold it up after using it um, say on a weekly basis uh, will the joints wear over time? Ultimately, it's going to take some time to tell. It comes with a CD um, with presenter software, and this software communicates with the document camera through the USB uh, cord, and here you see the installation process. I'm pleased with the software. It's lightweight, it, it works well, and the only bug that I found was it didn't want to scroll um, over an image that I had taken when I was zoomed in on it. Uh, very minor bug, but for the most part pleased. Uh, so now that I've installed the program, I'm going to open it. Here you see that you can manually toggle the exposure uh, from the camera itself. Uh, you can also adjust autofocus uh, and turn it from a single autofocus to continual, continuous autofocus. Uh, I recommend changing settings from the software itself on the computer. That way you uh, don't move the camera while you're trying to take an image. Here I'm going to take some images from a section of a book and demonstrate the ability to uh, scan a document with the camera. I'm going to use the highest resolution and I'm going to set the timer for three second delay. What this is going to do is it's going to give me time to actually in push the shutter button which is the enter or return key um, or you can click the image of a camera on the presenter software itself. Now since taking this video I found it better to um, use a wireless keyboard and I position it in such a way that I'll I can hold open the book uh, and with my pinky finger I can press the return key on the wireless keyboard and take the image. I was able to take about one image every three seconds and that would be two pages per image and um, that allows you to scan a, uh, a number of pages pretty quickly so I was pleased with that. Here you can see one of the image th images that I've just taken. It wasn't perfectly in focus which is why um, you see it's just slightly fuzzy and one of the issues that I've had is uh, getting the focus uh, just exactly like I want it. Part of that is going to be me getting used to the software and getting used to what works best. Here I'm opening up ScanTailor and the images I've taken and I'm going to process these uh, images and if you're not familiar with ScanTailor it's an open source program freely available online. You can see that it can automatically split pages if you've taken two pages per image. It has a de-skew feature. It selects the content on the page. Usually it does a good job at this, but occasionally it might get your thumb or finger in the image and you can manually adjust or correct that. Here you see the output um, after I've run it through once and I'm just going to change the de-warping setting because um, when you take an image of a book open like this, the curvature of the page and the differing distance from the text to the camera creates the effect of curved lines. If you're going to OCR a document and make it searchable, uh, it helps to fix this. Here I'm going to open up the images that ScanTailor has produced in a PDF document and give you a sense of the quality. Uh, ultimately, I feel that the quality is uh, good enough for a decent OCR and actually I did OCR this uh, 
as a PDF, and um, it was, I would say, uh, acceptable in terms of accuracy. Now I just want to show you briefly what the camera can do as far as video capture. Um, it comes with an anti-glare shield, and so if you have a smartphone or iPad, something like this, uh, the camera can pick that up and project it onto your computer or um, before a class if, if you're in a teaching environment. And it does, uh, it does an okay job. Here I'll turn the resolution down so as to create a higher frame rate. If you use a high resolution, your frame rate is so low that your video is uh, very choppy. You can see that the video is uh, it's decent quality, but it's not great. And part of this could be uh, getting used to the, the lighting, um, the glare. I'm not sure what's causing sort of this red uh, grid to appear across the screen. But here you can see uh, just a YouTube video of the document camera itself as a demonstration. Let me also just show you um, a high-resolution zoomed-in uh, image here of text. This is a, a critical apparatus of actually a, a, the Greek New Testament, and it's a very small font, uh, a lot of uh, sigla uh, to indicate different things, but you can see zoomed in. It does a pretty good job focusing in. And finally, I'm going to take a, a one pound coin and I'm going to get the camera right on it and turn the resolution up to the highest setting and it kind of gives you a sense if you're going uh, if you're interested in using this in a teaching environment um, and you want to zoom in on a small object um, it gives you a feel for what the document camera is capable of doing. I'm also going to zoom in from uh, the scanner software here and the highest resolution you can see it, it does a pretty good job. Overall the Ziggy HD is a, a great product um, with a lot to offer. As far as book scanning, document scanning goes, um, it does a good job. It takes OCR quality scans, in my opinion. Um, if, if you're needing a very high resolution, very precise sort of uh, book scanning uh, solution, this probably isn't the product you're looking for. But for $100, it's difficult to build a DIY book scanner that can do as good a job, and it's certainly hard to find one that is as mobile and easy to use as this one. Now one disadvantage of any book scanner where you're holding the book open is you get that curved page effect and so there can be a little bit more work on the post-processing end of things because um, the Ziggy HD takes quality uh, enough images for me um, they're sufficient uh, that is in terms of quality the speed at which I can take this a scan of a chapter let's say um, is well worth uh, is well worth the product. Of course, there's other solutions it offers. If you're in a teaching environment, it can uh, project virtually anything you hold under it up onto your computer or a projector, and so there are those features as well. For more on this, you can go to my website, joshualman.com forward slash Ziggy Camera, Z I G G I Camera and I'm going to have a little bit more on my experience with it, and you can also contact me with questions. Thank you very much for watching.